Today I will show you the best mods for the battle for Middle Earth games and explain you at the same time how to get them installed so you can start playing your favorite mods at the end of this video. Let's get it started. The Legends of the Third Age is a mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1, which doesn't only add two brand new factions like the Moria and Lothlorien, but also improves every existing faction like Isengard, Gondor, Rohan and Mordor. It is adding brand new heroes, spellbooks and units to the mentioned factions. If you want to take a deeper look into the changes, I've already made showcasing videos for every single faction, it will be linked in the video description down below. But how to get that mod? Simply click on the link in the description and download the file. Make sure that your Battle for Middle Earth 1 is on the patch 1.06 and start the installation by double clicking on the exe file. And that's it! Now you are already able to play it. The second mod in our list is another mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1, the Shadow and Flame mod. The Shadow and Flame is adding the Gundabad faction to the Battle for Middle Earth 1, but not only that, every other faction got a facelift too. Great graphics, amazing designs, an improved campaign for evil and good as well as reworked factions with brand new units and heroes. And here is how you can download that. Simply click on the link in the description down below and download the file, start the installation by double clicking on the exe file and start the game. Let's jump right into the next mod, the Age of the Ring. Age of the Ring is a mod for Battle for Middle Earth 2, the Rise of the Witch King. Age of the Ring is not only improving the campaign of the game, no, it is adding two amazing campaigns from the films The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, as well as from the films The Lord of the Rings and The Two Towers. Other than that, everything has changed. New heroes, spellbooks, factions, design, literally everything. Make your own experience by downloading it from the link down below. When it comes to the installation of the Age of the Ring, double click on the exe file after extracting the RAR file from the download. Make sure that your BFME 2 is on the patch 1.06 and your Rise of the Witch King is on the patch 2.02 version 8.0.1. Also disable the timer and enable the minimal music in your pet switcher. If you have the Eden mod installed, make sure to disable it and that's it. Have fun. The last mod in our list is also for the Battle for Middle Earth 2, the Rise of the Witch King, the Eden mod. The reason why I like this mod a lot is because it gives you the chance to combine the Battle for Middle Earth 2 with the Battle for Middle Earth 1. You have just like in BFME 1 the build spots and the castle around your base. But not only that of course, just like in Age of the Ring mod everything got reworked. Unique ring heroes for each faction are adding so much fun to the gameplay that playing it will never get boring. But the installation of this mod is a bit more tricky than any other mod we have covered in this video so far. First, you need to download the Eden mod from the link in the video description, as well as the daemon tool programs which is needed to play this mod. Extract the downloaded zip file Eden 4.5, click on the exe file and start the installation. Just like in the Age of the Ring mod, your Battle for Middle Earth 2 has to be on the patch 1.06, but unlike in the Age of the Ring mod, your Rise of the Witch King this time has to be on the patch 2.01. Also change to the minimal music and disable the timer in your pet switcher. Now you need to also download the WinCD emu to mount the CD images to a virtual drive. The reason for that is, unlike the patch 2.02, the patch 2.01 is going to ask us for a CD. Download the CD images and extract them. After extracting them, double click on the file which ends with MDS, change to CD-ROM and uncheck everything and click on OK. Now you can start playing Eden by using the Rise of the Witch King shortcut and not the Eden shortcut. If you want to switch back to Rise of the Witch King or you want to play the Age of the Ring mod, you can simply open your Eden mod launcher and disable the mod. Great! Now you have managed to download all the mods and install them on your PC. If this video was helpful, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you are interested in more Battle for Middle Earth related content in the future and let us know which mod do you prefer the most in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out!